Hello everyone. Today I am going to tell you how to connect your website contact form into your email using PHP. After I am making the Tailwind CSS video, a few people asked me about how to connect the contact form into their email and now I decided to make a video about it. In this video, we are going to create a custom contact form and an email function and test it on a live server. Basically, the local development software doesn't support PHP mail function in your local computer. We have to test it in live server environment. Here we are going to do that. Let's jump into the video. Before that, if you are not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe and like if you like this video. If you have any doubts related to this video, you can feel free to comment here. You have to create a contact form first. We have to create our input fields. We have to add a unique name for that. Now just create the email input and the type is email and name is email address DRS address and and third one is message okay we just leave it as test type okay your message and we have to finally create a button submit button You can name you can name it whatever you want and open that in browser you can see your name your email address your message and submit okay now we made our contact form uh, I didn't done any styling here because uh, it's just a boilerplate to show you how it's work so so that's why I'm trying to keep it maximum simple now we have to create the function, the PHP function. Create a new file called mail.php and open the link in the description and get the code from my blog. I already wrote a blog about the topic and I I create the code for easy reference and you can just copy and paste it into uh, your mail.php file so you don't need to rewrite the code and I will explain what will happen here I connect this form into this mail.php file like in the form action we have to connect the form into mail.php for that we have to assign the form action to mail.php okay now when someone fill the form and click submit then the data will transfer into mail.php and you can here you can see here you can see we have three fields name email and message okay the name value will transfer to this mail.php file and store it into 
this variable also the email and the message email will be stored into this variable and message here okay I think you got my point if you have another field like mobile number I create the field mobile mobile um, mobile number and we have to store into another variable called mobile or number whatever you want and assign the field name field name this is the field name field name into the first so now this data will be stored on this variable you got my point now we have to enter our email address here I'm using my personal email address and you can add a subject like mail from website or code conia whatever you want and this is the message body so here you can see the name equal to name I mean what whatever the use whatever the customer enter as name in the field and email as email and message as message so we have to add our next one I mean the mobile number uh, this slash r slash n means it's a break it's a line break in PHP so if you have if you need to add the number field you have to add a dot then in double quotes you have to break the line you have to enter like mobile number close the double quote and space we have to assign the variable as value here okay that means name equal to the name which the customer entered and next line and email equal to the email message equal to message and next line mobile number equal to number here you can enter the from email address if you want to send a carbon copy of this email you can enter the email address here or leave it as blank no issue and if the email address is not equal to null if this contain any value we will send you the details into your email address after that it will redirect to thank you dot html okay now we have to create a page called thank you okay everything done now you have to test it if you want to test uh, the email functionality normally our local environment doesn't support that so we have to push our code into the live server I log into my cPanel and I just need to upload these three files contact.html, mail.php and thank.html now it's here I have to open in browser here I can see those files oh I forgot something in this email field we named us email address and here we just named it to email we have to name it as email address and save through the form and click submit 
Okay. Now we have to check our email. Here we have our new message. No reply. Mail from Codeconia. Test. Test.aa.com. Test message. And all details here. I think now you got an idea how we can connect your contact form into your website. If you having any doubts, you can drop a comment here.